hello my love bugs so i got up early this morning got up about 11 o'clock it is almost one o'clock here the sun is shining it's bright i have been wanting to record this video and i just didn't know when i was going to do it so i've decided to do it now since i'm up early even though i went to bed at like six o'clock seven o'clock this morning but since i'm up early and the sun is shining i wanted to do this video for you guys and this video is going to be talking about my favorite elf brushes ones that i think are good for anybody and that i really truly love um so we should get started okay because i have quite a bit i'm going to start with their most expensive brushes um there is three of them that i have so you have their elf it says elf blending brush but you can only buy these three online i've never seen them in store at all this one is on their website it's going to say elf a bear blending brush um i had a referral of a friend that talked about this brush and said it's amazing kathleen lights talked about this brush a few months ago you can literally lose it excuse me you can literally use it for bronzing for contouring, for powder, for foundation. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes. As you can see, it is currently dirty. I need to wash it. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Anyways, the next one that I have is their Ultimate Blending Brush. I really feel like this is a good dupe for the M439. So here is the Morphe M439, and see they're very similar in shape. Um, the Morphe one is a little bit foul, a little bit, ugh, can't talk today, a little bit fatter. Um, they're both pretty dense. Um, this one might not be as dense, but they're, the softness is pretty is is pretty much the same. This one is like 12, 14, or 12 to 14 bucks. I can't remember. I think it's like $13.99. And this one is $6. So I really feel like this one is a good dupe for this one. But they're they're both good. Okay. Then the next one I have is the e.l.f. This is their contour brush. Yes. They came out with a contour brush, and it's $6. So these three are $6 on their website, okay? So, yeah, very good. Okay, next ones I want to talk about is their $3 brushes, which is their studio brushes. You can buy them from, from Target, from Walmart, uh, from CVS, and I think that's it. <laughs> so I want to talk about them. I do have a few to talk about that they have, okay? This is their powder brush. I just bought a brand new one. I absolutely loved it. The one that I had before, the he the handle came off from the head, so I threw it away. When that happens, I just throw them away, buy a new one. It's not a big deal. So it's a flat top kabuki, pretty much. I use this for powder. So you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. It does say powder brush, but you can use it for whatever you want to use it for. Okay. Then I have their small uh, their blush brush. And I did have a small tapered brush. Did I lose it? <laughs> I don't know. I do have a small taper brush, taper, tapered brush as well I wanted to show. It's a little bit smaller than this one. I don't know where the heck it's at because I just looked through all my brushes. Um, anyways, both the blush brush and the small tapered brush I use for concealer. Um, to pack in my concealer underneath my eyes and then to set it as well. And then the blush brush I actually use for blush as well. But the tapered brush, the tapered brush is only for concealer. I don't know where the heck it's at. I just looked through all my brushes to pull out all my brushes and I guess I missed that one. The, um, yeah, I was going to say, because I bought the small tapered brush online. So, but I just seen it in stores the other day. But you can get the blush brush, I know for sure, at, in the stores. The small tapered brush might be a little bit harder to find. You might have to order it online. But I just seen it the other day in Target. So, um, the next one I have is their, which I have hair all over my brushes, is their small stipple brush. I only like this for, like, cream products. Like, if I'm using a cream highlighter, it's great to get right here. If I'm using a cream bronzer, it's great to get right there. This I like for cream products. Sometimes I'll use it for my concealer, sometimes, but I mainly like this for cream products. It's great for cream highlighter. Great, great, great. <clears throat> the next one I have is their Eyeshadow C brush. This is for packing on your lid shade. Um, then I have the blending brush. We all know what a blending brush is. Come on now. Um, then I have 
two of the same ones pretty much because I bought this one first. This is the eyebrow duo brush so it comes with a spoolie and a angled brush on the end. I really liked the angled brush a lot so I bought another singled angled brush. Then I just bought this one and it is a small uh, smudged brush which I feel as though how small it is is the same as their one dollar concealer brush and I use this concealer brush for the same thing I'm going to be using this small one and it's for my inner corner highlights yeah so I'm excited about this one because this is a new one and I'm pretty sure it's good so it's probably just as good as this one dollar one so let's talk about this one this is their concealer brush these are all I have from their one dollar line um this is good for inner corner highlight. That's what I use it for. It's the only thing I use it for. Okay. Then I have the bronzing brush. This brush is good, but this is the only brush that I have from e.l.f. that sheds when I use it. It's not, like, ridiculously bad, but I usually have at least, like, one hair that gets on my cheek. Um, it is a bit loose right now. I don't really care. As soon as the head falls off of it, I'll throw it away. Um, this pr this brush will probably be the only brush that I will probably never repurchase, and that's only because it shedded it shedded I can't even talk it shed like crazy, so it's still good for like bronzing, but other than the fact that it sheds, I didn't I didn't like that. Okay, then I have this is their this is the only one out of the set that I have of these ones. This is the one that is two dollars. Um, this is their fan brush. <clears throat> I use it for highlighting and only for highlighting, and it's pretty good. I like it. Me like it. Okay. These babies are my favorite $1 brushes ever, okay? I've never had them shed on me. Um, <laughs> they're $1, and I have duplicates of each of them. Ooh, and some of, one of them is dirty. I don't remember which one. Anyways, this is their eyeshadow brush. It's good for packing on on the lid. This is their blending brush. Their blending brush, the $1 blending brush. If you want a good blending brush and you don't want to pay like six bucks for it, go get you this one, please. Just do yourself a favor. It's good. Then I have the crease brush, which looks very identical to the blending brush, except the blending brush is a little bit taller and a little bit bigger. And then I have the smudge brush. So... Those are the ones that I have for the $1 line. Um, I do not know what happened to my small taper brush. I'm sorry about that. I usually try to make sure that I have everything ready to go. But that is it for my favorite e.l.f. brushes. I know that is a lot. They range from $6 to $1. So if you can't find the ones that I showed you in stores, I am 100% positive that they have them online. And I know that they just came out with a whole bunch of new $6 brushes on their website um, that I do want to get my little hands on soon. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all soon. Bye, love bugs.